Okay. So it's, when Wait, everyone gets together, this is a good you get question. to see the type of dude I am. One woman said she's interested in polygamy and Say it again. one woman said she's interested in polygamy. How could she find a man and what are some things that she should look for in a man if she wants to be in a polygamous relationship? I'm I'm gonna tell you these three things first. I'm not gonna tell you to get these kind of guys, but these are the these are the best guys that planet Earth has to offer. And I'm not saying you should deal with them. There's the teacher. There's the preacher, and there's the gangster. <clears throat> those, are, those are the ones that women are always going to go for. Then the rest of the guys, they get their women, and it always goes to hell. Your best relationships is going to come out with those guys. Of course, the life path is going to determine <laughs> what kind of stress you might have to endure. Reason being, and I'm just keeping it a thousand with you, okay, women give men the necessary adversity to become more disciplined. And so if the man relinquishes his discipline for the woman, then there's a weak brother. And so the goal is for him to be commissioned by his woman to be greater without her having to do it. Just her being a woman is enough. And in him maintaining his discipline, and I'm going to explain what this means, in him maintaining his discipline, he then makes her better. And then vice versa, they keep making each other greater and better because accountability, of course, is on the man because he has the most women. Now, what does all of this mean? The preacher, he's for God. God is first. So he don't want to be in trouble with God. So even when he get with a woman, the understanding is that, yo, God come first. Not you, Ma. It's, it's my God. Right? And so... You got to get with that. So now what's going to happen is she's going to fight with you for position of God, whether she realizes it or not. Because a man in his mind who's like, I'm doing all this in the name of God, there's going to be contradiction with that when your wife need her time. It's a fact. It's not that she's the devil. It's the fact that he's a man of God and she's going to challenge him to deviate from that discipline. Does he keep the discipline? Does he make concessions to his wife? Which is nothing wrong with making concessions like, okay, boo, today, you know, we're going to do that. But overall, if he gives up his discipline, she has no more reason to respect him. Now, we're going to go to the gangster. The gangster going to tell you what? M-O-B. Money over bitches. Yo, I got these other bitches over here, ma, but I fuck with you. You my, you my whiz. You my wife. You know, don't, never mind them bitches over there. That's the gangster. He going to tell you the truth, too. He going to say, look, don't get in the way of me and my bitches and don't get in the way of me and my money because the money come first. This is his mentality. This is gangsta's eye fucking though, right? And she accepts that, but she going to still tug at him. Yo, I know your money come first and all. You spend time with me, though. Oh, boo, let's have some sex. Oh, yo, take me out to the movies. Is he wrong for making concessions to that woman? No, that's his wife. He should sometimes. But the understanding is what makes him different from everyone else? All the niggas going to fuck at her will. All the preachers that's weak and all the, uh, the rest of the brothers in the congregation, they're going to fuck at her will. But the difference between the preacher and the difference between the gangster is how they prioritize. And so it's she's challenge. Like, yo, hold the fuck up. Everybody else want to beat it. Everybody else want to take you to the movies. Do I, these niggas so in today, they world that they don't relinquish that hold. He ain't never going to separate from his God. And then you got the conscious brother. He doing the knowledge so much, he always think about building and talking about the universe and everything. And that's, it. yo, Ma, we can't get into that. We need we need to pray. We need to meditate. Let's like these incense. Let's like these, oh, so this, this is polite. You, know, you want to just have sex? I want to have a ritual. Ritual, nigga, what? Be cutting chicken? What the fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, the conscious man, the preacher, uh, the gangster or the teacher, the preacher and the gangster, they win favor and get the most women on planet Earth because their discipline says no matter how beautiful you are, no matter what everybody else deals with you, when you come to me, I'm an authentic man. I'm unique and different from everybody else because the shit that niggas go for and the shit that they willing to do to get your attention, God got my attention. The universe got my attention. Mother Nature got my attention. This money got my attention. And so it's a perfect match because... When he makes a concession to that woman, she knows this nigga so into what he into, 
he must really love me because he's really about that life. So when he give me that, which I'm asking for, you respect it more because you know he's not just a savage because you got big titties and a fat ass. So that's that understanding. But is she the devil? Is she trying to take him off his path? No, but because she is the woman, <laughs> she's great. She's God. You're going to, yo, that, that's going to tempt the greatest man. Now, where the man falls is if he was disciplined until he met her. That's not his fault. If he was disciplined until he met her, and now he ain't no longer disciplined. Now he ain't hitting the block no more. Now he, he praying less. Now he in the church less. Now he got to have more sex than he have his connection with God. Now he ain't into the incense and the alls. Let's just fuck. I, yo, I got to go store by The wax ran out. I got, let's just have sex. You see, when that shit changes and you throw it out the window, the very thing that attracted the woman to the man dissipates. And then you wonder what the hell happened. Shit changed. That's what we say. Shit changed. But the thing is, those guys will always get it. So we're going to go back to that woman's question. Yeah. What kind of man to look for? Look for a man of discipline. I ain't tell you go get the gangster. I'm just going to tell you the gangster going to be more honest than most men. I ain't tell you get a preacher. I don't rock out with those religions or imam or whoever. But I'm going to say traditionally, they would be more disciplined and more honest if they really about that life. So normally the leaders of those worlds are the ones that normally get the women the easiest because they're respected because of their discipline. Because with them, you're not expecting dishonor. Now, if you meet me, and, yo, I'm over here, you know, I got my wives and my children, but you meet me, and I'm over here sneaking you in different hotel rooms and everything like that, then Brother Polite lost his demeanor, and I've now reduced myself to all the niggas you already know. You know how to master me now. Now it ain't even exciting no more. You see what I'm saying? So the mystery that we talked about earlier has to manifest. When you come in the crib, you need to know, oh, shit, Polite's speaking a new language. Yo, we was going to have sex today, but this nigga did the room differently and everything. Like The mystery keeps the relationship lit. But once you got a nigga mastered, don't a woman want to go into something that she understands is there? When you run a storefront and you have everything on the shelves and you leave it like that one month, you leave it like that two months, you leave it like that three months, eventually you lose sales without realizing. When you take everything and you say, you know what, I'm going to take everything off that shelf and I'm going to put it on the shelf over here and take everything off that shelf and put half of it over here and I'm going to create a new shelf over here. People walk in the store and they don't feel like they know what's already going on and it makes them have to pay attention.